Welcome to Maple 10 YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about top 10 creepy deep sea creatures. If you like the video, please don't forget to like and share it, please subscribe to Maple 10 YouTube channel, and tap the bell icon to get notified in our future top 10 videos. Because the ocean's depths are among the world's least studied areas it's no surprise, that the animals that call the deep sea floor home are interesting, strange, and, above all, terrifying. The following are 10 of the most terrifying, hazardous, and spine-chilling creatures that may be found in the deepest areas of the ocean. Some of these are literally the stuff of nightmares. Number 10 Sarcastic Fringehead The sarcastic fringehead isn't being sarcastically sarcastic about ripping your head off. It's also devoid of a fringe. It was disappointing. The sarcastic fringehead, called after my 12-year-old self, is a deep-sea monster that dwells off North America's west coast. The fish grow to be about a foot long and have a terrible anger, which often leads to turf mouth wrestling battles. They're creepy and strange all at the same time. They can grow to be up to 30 centimeters, 12 inches, long elongate, and thin with large pectoral fins and decreased pelvic fins. These fish have intricate swimming movements. Short, quick, dart-like movements characterize their swimming. The majority of them are brown in color. Sarcastic fringe heads are a tube blenny species that prefers to hide behind shells or crevices yet some have been discovered living in man-made things like a soda can. The male guards the eggs after the female spawns behind a rock or in clam burrows. They consume a considerable quantity of squid eggs throughout the spawning season. From San Francisco, California to Central Baja, California, they can be found in the Pacific off the coast of North America. They have a depth range of 3 to 73 meters, 10 to 240 feet. The male guards the eggs after the female spawns behind a rock or in clam burrows. And brought him on to Charles Frederic Girard who described it is honored with the specific name. Number 9 Giant Isopod. A giant isopod with a scary appearance. Giant isopods come in 20 different species. The creepy crustaceans are bottom-dwelling predatory crustaceans that can reach a length of 2.5 feet. They're also notable for their ability to go months or even years without eating. In Japan a five-year-old huge isopod went without eating for five years, before succumbing to famine and dying. Despite the fact that they're fairly fantastic I've never wanted to see one of these guys in person. Number 8 Giant Grenadier These fish appear to be quite harmless don't they? They're one of the most common bottom dwellers accounting for around 15% of all deep sea organisms. They don't bite or sting and they just have a scary appearance. Why did they compile this list? They're filthy. TMA a chemical prevalent in human urine perspiration, and bad breath is detected in high concentrations in the fish. Imagine all of those odors combined and you'll get a good picture of the giant grenadier's stench. I'm hoping the person carrying it was wearing a gas mask. Albatrosha pectoralis often known as the big grenadier or gigantic rattail, or gigantic rattail is the only member of the Albatrosha genus. It can be found in the North Pacific from northern Japan to the Bering and Okhotsk seas, east to the Gulf of Alaska and south to northern Baja California, Mexico. It can be found in depths of 140 to 3,500 meters. It can reach a length of 2.1 meters. The enormous grenadier bears the rattail's typical highly extended pointed tail. Number 7 Chimera Chimeras are fish that are related to sharks but are not sharks. They can be found all around the world in cold to moderate waters. One of its distinguishing characteristics is that their skeleton is formed of cartilage rather than bone. Because they live largely in the deep scientists have had difficulty isolating their diet, but they are known to be carnivorous and eat worms, crabs, sea stars, and clams. Isn't it delicious? Number Viper Fish The viper fish is one of the deep's most feared predators and with good cause. When they're hungry they swim at tremendous speeds towards their prey, impaling it with their long razor-sharp teeth. Even though they're just approximately 30 centimeters, 12 inches, long, you'd be afraid of coming across one of these critters, if you were an innocent deep-sea resident, assuming there are any. Any species of marine fish in the genus Chorleodus is known as a viperfish. Long needle-like teeth and movable lower jaws distinguish viperfish. The average viperfish reaches a length of 30 to 60 centimeters, 12 to 23.5 in. 
In tropical and temperate seas, viperfish prefer to stay in lower depths, 250 to 5,000 feet, 80 to 1,520 meters, during the day and shallower depths at night. Viperfish are thought to attack prey after luring them into range with photophores, which are light-producing organs found along the ventral sides of the body, and at the end of a long spine in the dorsal fin similar to the elysium of unrelated deep-sea angler fishes. This natural light is flashed on and off by the viperfish which moves its dorsal spine around, like a fishing rod while remaining absolutely motionless in the water. Number 5 Fangtooth A fangtooth to be precise. The reason for this fish's name is very self-evident. The fangtooth gets its name from its long needle-like fangs, which it employs to great advantage while catching prey. While it appears to be a large fish it is actually quite little, measuring only 16 centimeters 6 inches in length. It enjoys warm seas, which makes sense given that it looks like it was created in hell, and hence may be found off the coast of Australia and other tropical locations. Number 4 Northern Stargazer a northern stargazer is a bird that may be found in the northern hemi ambush predators these bottom dwellers. The northern stargazer is only found in the waters off the United States east coast. In submarine ambush strikes these fish burrow below the sandy seafloor and emerge to capture food unawares. If that wasn't scary enough most stargazer species are electric and may deliver death shocks to passing victims. The name stargazer is thought to derive from the fact that the fish's eyes are on top of their heads and they are always looking up at the sky. Number 3 Giant Squid The world's largest enormous squid was 13 meters long. The sheer size of this creature is what makes it so terrifying. The largest giant squid ever unearthed was 13 meters long and weighed about a ton. You'd think that because of its enormous size, we'd see big squids all the time, yet the giant squid is a highly mysterious monster. The majority of specimens that scientists can investigate wash ashore at sea, and are discovered by fishermen. Despite their size, the animals are skilled hunters who can catch prey from a distance of up to 10 meters, using their two feeding tentacles which are laced with hundreds of suckers. Dinner plates are also the size of their eyes. The only other thing I can say about this scary creature, is that it's a good thing they can't walk on land. Number 2 Goblin Shark A goblin shark to be precise. These items seem to be from another dimension. The goblin shark is a very rare deep water shark that is often referred to as a living fossil, because of its dinosaur-like appearance. And the fact that the species dates back 125 million years. Making it one of the world's oldest water creatures. The ancient animals have been discovered all across the world. Including in the Pacific, Indian and Atlantic oceans. They're big for deep water animals growing up to 4 meters in length, shudder and weighing up to 200 kilograms, 440 pounds. Do you want to know what the finest part is? Scientists have determined that these sharks must swim in both deep and shallow seas based on their stomach contents. You're unlikely to come find one on your next beach vacation but it's still possible. I'd much rather these terrifying looking creatures remain as deep as possible in the water. Number 1 Blue Ringed Octopus the blue-ringed octopus may not appear intimidating but it conceals a deadly weapon. The blue-ringed octopus isn't quite as large as some of the other creatures on this list. It has no needle-like teeth or the ability to deliver electric shocks in fact, its bright blue rings are almost attractive. The fact that it is one of the most lethal animals in the water adds to its creep factor. They're very venomous and when threatened release tetrodotoxin, a poison that assaults the nerve system and kills in just 4-6 to six hours. They're found in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. The deadly dose is only 8 microliters per kilo which indicates that half a milliliter is enough to kill an average sized individual. I don't know what more to say if that isn't creepy. In conclusion. The deep water is home to a variety of strange creatures. That appear to have swum straight out of a horror film. The majority of the species stay in the ocean's depths and do not represent a threat to humans. But those that do go into the shallows such as the blue-ringed octopus can be extremely hazardous. What's even better? Every day strange new creatures are discovered in the ocean. What are the chances? Maybe there's something bigger down there than the giant squid. Or something with sharper teeth than the fangtooth. Isn't that a lovely idea? What do you think about this video? Which of the following top 10 creepy deep sea creatures you find most creepy? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.